essentially um, people, um, many people were expecting private, that private demand would be able to, to pick up to fill that entire gap such that um, growth you know, stayed constant or even picked up from the first half to the second half of the year. And now it just doesn't look like that's going to happen. It looks like we're going to see slower growth in the second half of the year than in the first half of the year. Now a lot of people are also talking about a double dip. That's not the most likely outcome, but um, the recovery is not on solid footing right now, and there are some important risks out there right now. So the housing market still remains very fragile. There are still problems there that need to be worked out, and we can't count on the fact that house prices are now stable, and we may see another decline in house prices. And uh, you know, the other big threat to the economy is that we may see uh, further fallout in U.S. financial markets from the sovereign debt and financial problems in Europe.